What's up, everyone? Empowered Q is here bringing you some more League of Legends action. We have kind of a quirky one for you. We are going to stomp the main. We are playing some Lethal Temple Jacks. So, how that works is it's almost a little like Conqueror, except you can't charge it up on minions. Is you have to. Uh, ooh, nice little dodge there by the Relia. You have to hit a champion, and then after one second, you get this big burst of attack speed, which has a six second cooldown, and it lasts for six seconds as well. So we are going to build a Blade of the Ruin King to give us some sticking power, and then we are going to go... Ooh, gotcha! Nice, back it up. Want to get down a ward here. Step in the bush. Sweet. Uh, we're going to go Blade of the Ruin King, Trinity Force, pretty standard stuff right there. And then we are going to go um, Jinso's Rage Blade into Sterix. And then probably. Uh, probably uh, Nasher's Tooth into a Guardian Angel. So I'm going to go for a very heavy kind of split push build here. So we're going to let this push back out here. Aurelia's. New Aurelia's. Um. Laning phase is pretty weak, so we want to take advantage of that as much as humanly possible. So pop my potion here. Just chill. Wait till my ease up. Guarantee that cannon minion. Gonna want to fight her for this one. Got her. So nice little advanced tactic is to challenge people on minions that they want so I knew she was gonna go for that cannon minion so nice so I'm able to oh that sucks oh god oh I probably could have had him if I played that um, E better but better to get out and run man I really want to get my cutlass but I could get Vampiric Scepter, which is going to give me some lane sustain, and a control ward. Ready for battle. I could hold my teleport. Um, she's not going to push it fast enough. She's going to let it kind of slow push. And an even minion wave on her side. You need it more about right here to have four minions for a freeze. So no freeze. Surprise! I'm back. All right, we see Olaf in the bot lane. So we can hold on to our control ward to... What do we need? We need, what? 600 for our Cutlass. Cool little Jax tidbit, too, is uh, your E can prevent the uh, stun by Twisted Fate. So that's going to help against that kind of uh, global ganking aspect as we can pop our E there. Get a little bit of attack speed here. Pop my potions, life seal a little bit, don't want to be in this giant minion wave. Back it up. Bring it on. So the way uh, that move works for Aurelia is she charges up her W, and then... Oh, got it. Pop that down. Ready don't know where she is. Nice. Oh, she's right there, cool. Just gather all these minions here. Oh. And I got all this life still too, which is gonna help. Nice. Cool. Pop my potion. Oh. Let me at him. Get out of here. Oh, I come on, come on, come on. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna have my cutlass here. I thought I I didn't have flash. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> That's alright, I'll get it back. Come on, Lee! Oh, she has six, get out. Yep. Got her. Nice, good job by the Lee. Good job. Greedy Aurelia. Push this wave in and back. Surprise, I'm back. Then I can look to make maybe a roam play on the, the uh, TF. Oh god. Man. 
Uh, the nice thing about the Nasher's Tooth, actually, too, is it's going to be it's gonna, going to give me another AP ratio on my um, Rage Blade. So, going to get one of my favorite wards here. Yeah. Spots out the Olaf. And I can come and get the Rift Scuttler here. You know, TF warded there, yep. So, get back, and I can grab this right here. Aurelia also used her ultimate, which I think is like a 60 second cooldown. I'm honestly not that familiar with new Aurelia. What'd she grab? She grabbed Thorn Mail. Ha! <laughs> nice. It's all I don't foresee it being that big of a problem. That also means theoretically she's not doing a ton of damage to me. It up, pop my potions. Get up. Try to fade her back. Come on, Echo. Nice. Good roll by the Echo. Nice. Push this wave in. She used teleport last time. So I get lots of nice pressure on the tower. Nice. That was good what I got for my Bork 19. Nice. Probably uh, gonna get Ninja Tabby pretty Let soon here though, or else she's gonna start doing way too much damage to me. So far, so good. Nice. Yeah, probably gonna get the... That's why I build my Ninja Tabby right now. I said I'm gonna build against the uh, Aurelia because I'm I plan on splitting most of the game. Mm, a little risky. Nice, good stuff. Woo! Get it, Lee. Get it. Get it. Nice. Nice. I don't know where is, but I can kind of start pushing this wave a little bit. Okay, I can start pushing this wave a lot. I think I'm going to want to max my Q first. The reason we're doing the Q is to kind of match her dashing ability with the um, her Q. By the way, so for runes, I took pretty much the standard of what I would normally take as long if I would have taken like Conqueror. The only difference is the lethal tempo. And then I took uh, my normal Scorch ones because of how aggressive I'm going to be. The Scorch and the, the movement speed one really helps for sticking onto your opponents at the early levels. So, like I said, I'm going for a pretty early game centric build. So, that's why I took those. So, the celerity for the plus 3% movement speed and then the Scorch for some extra damage there. I'm gonna stick around. I don't need to back. Surprise! So remember, she has Conqueror, so she has to like charge hers for four seconds. So if I have lane control, I definitely want to get a little aggro on her because I have to hit her anyways for my damage to go up. Cool. Just walk away. Pop my potions. Yep. Ready for battle. Cool. What do I need for my blade? I'd really like to finish my blade. 1600, still got a little bit more. All off there, so they're taking dragon, so I'm gonna stick around. Perfect. Pop another potion here. Let me get my ward over here, make sure I'm not being dove. Collect this wave. I don't know where Aurelia is. I think I could do this. Nope. I can flash if I need to. I think I'll be okay. 
Ah, oh, damn. That sucks. That sucks. I didn't see how low they were on health. I should have flashed earlier. Hmm. Whoopsies! My bad. Last thing I want is a Federalia. Yikes. That's right. We'll get it back. I saw Aurelia TPing, but I didn't think she'd get back there that fast. Or get up there that fast. At least it might be in trouble. Mr. Stun. I just want to push this. See if I can get to her. Yeah, that's not good. Nice. That's good. So I can push this tower. Nice to wave here. Killing this tower will give me my blade. I can start working towards my Trinity Force. Man, I wish I got the lethal tempo for when I was attacking towers. That's okay, though. Cool. Got enough. I'm gonna need some health components to fight Aurelia, or else that's really gonna hurt. Olaf is bottom. I might try and steal some of this jungle if it's up. Yeah. Pop a potion just in case I run into the Aurelia. That's a get out of my face. Damn! How did they have that warded? Bunch of savages. Or why, I guess. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have some health components now, so... I just have to dodge out her stun. As long as I dodge out her stun, I think I'm okay. Could be nice for shredding any armor she builds too, so. She doesn't have ultimate. Let me add him. If Lee comes, I think we could kill him. Nope. I see Lee has friends. <laughs> Easy peasy. Okay. Push this wave out. Try to join my team. Maybe uh, get mid tower. Maybe we can get uh, Rift. A little risky. Alright, so, uh, normal attack speed cap is 1.2.5, sorry. Fine, I really don't want to take it, but... I don't like taking it because then I can't ward hop, so I'm going to want to place this as soon as I possibly can. So, normal uh, cap on attack speed is 2.5. So Lethal Tempo is going to not only break that, but increase it by 30 to 80% depending on level. Um, and then if you melee attack once it's active, it extends it for 60 seconds. So, I'm going to go bottom. Oh. That's my place right here. 
Just get mid tower. That'll be free. Want to open up the map that way. And that way I can ward hop too, so. We can catch this Aurelia. Nice. Let's kind of draw her off. Oh, look at that. Some Olaf. Yep. We can just take this dragon. And then I want to go clear bot wave after this objective is over. Good stuff. I can't go in until I have my E again. Once I have my E, I can do something. I'm out. <laughs> Bye, Olaf. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna wrestle? Idiot. <laughs> All right, push this in. They're all top, so gotta get some pressure somewhere. Got this huge wave crashing into tower. I might be able to get tier two Surprise. mid. Back. We'll be back in our teleporting now, so I gotta do this quick. Nice. Go clear top. I should have rotated down. Wow, she already has that up again. Enemy killing spree. Yikes. Very Late game Aurelia scary. This is why we're splitting. Because <laughs> I want to be able to drag her away from my team because they're going to have a hard time dealing with her. I need to back. I don't think there's a good TP spot for me. Maybe? Maybe? They should have her. Wait for my uh, stun. Back it up. I'm not gonna catch him in time. Hmm. I want to clear this top wave. I almost have my uh, my Trinity Force. That'll be good, and I can start working on my Rage Blade, which will turn me into a split pushing freaking god. Dragon's gonna be up and okay, not yet. That's not good. She is seven and five though. She is going to be rough Let to split against. You see Aurelia and Nami going trying to secure some Baron Vision, so I want to force her to come bottom. That or I'll get the turret for free, so. Let me add him. She's coming, so I'm going to back, get my Trinity. Don't want to fight her while I have 1,500 gold on me. Not the best idea. Nice. So, start working towards my Rage Blade. Grab the control ward, head back bottom. So when you're split pushing, the big thing is you want to take the enemy team away from the next objective. So the next objective being Baron, I want to bring Aurelia to the bot side. So I want to be bot. I really don't know enough about the new Aurelia to know who wins. I know I'm a level ahead. I think it depends on if she gets, once again, gets the stun on me. 
I'm gonna just hard shove this so she has to show herself. I see TF. So I do want to stack up my passive anyways, even though I can't do it. Oh my gosh, I kept losing freaking vision of her. Scary! <laughs> it's all oh my gosh, she dashes all over the freaking place. Cool. So I can work on uh, getting my lifesteal back up. Alright, is this red buff up? I wouldn't mind taking that real quick. Nope, okay. I see enough of them, I can push this. I know, I'm fine. Bring it on. He does not want to fight me. Bye. Oh, I almost had him. I almost had him. Damn. That was good, though. That was good. See his health just go like, poof, gone. Oh, man. I don't... Mm, I think I'm better off holding off, yeah. I was thinking about some like Corrupting Pot to get the uh, pickaxe portion of it, but I think this is better. Damn. What do I need? Okay, I really want to farm up for my Rage Blade. Oh, you get Baron Vi they get Baron Vision, I split. Uh, I don't know about this. Yeah. Mm, if she jumps on Draven. Oh man. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Come towards me! Let me at him. Well, three kills for me. I tried. Ready for battle. We need to get Baron Vision so I could split. I'm almost at my um my rage blade, so. And then the Sterix is really gonna help against the uh, Aurelia. Now it's my turn. Was it 1580? 1865. Aurelia's up. I gotta be careful. Steal this jungleman back. Level 13, level 15 jabs. Pop my potion. See what she does. Damn, that sucks. All those freaking dashes. What a dick. Ugh. Job of the hut. <laughs> I had her. Fidge. Alright, so we've had Lethal Temple active up for 113 seconds, almost two whole minutes. That's not bad. Got some good amount of damage off of Scorch. She has no ult. Definitely bad. Nice. I saw Olaf. I thought they were engaging. Oh god. See you later. 
Alright, gotta push this out. Now I will take towers ridiculously fast. Alright, let's... We gotta get into a team fight and see what my attack speed goes up to. Without lethal tempo, it gets up to pretty much... Um... Cap. So. Bring it on. Echo, go with team. Uh, I don't want you to split. I want you to go with team. What are you doing? I'm the split pusher. Baron, I'm not Baron. Uh, Dragon's gonna be up soon, so I'm just gonna grab this. And then I'm going to hide in the bush. There we go. They need to get vision there. Because three of them are here, really the enemy team should be rushing Baron. This is a really stupid play by us. But, you know. I am just gonna get three tower. If they can stall at least, we can get an inhibitor. So it's gonna take them a second. We got three of us, so. I mean, the point of Baron is to get objectives, so if we get the objectives anyways, that's fine. Let's get this and run. All right, run. Get out. And we can maybe fight for dragon. Okay. That's good too, because at least it's dragon side. Maybe I can catch TF. Cause like I said, don't forget gold card. Um, Nope, see you later. Out of here. That's good. Pop it away. I have a lot of gold. I don't know if I can, uh... I don't know if we can fight that. I think for this, I'm going to want to try and get on the easy. I already popped my potions. Damn, I thought I'd life steal more. Definitely want to get this. I still think that's fine for us. New Aurelia is broken. Oh my god. That's nuts. That is crazy. I said, I still think we're okay. They'll be low enough where they won't be able to get our uh, inner turret. So it's still an inhib versus no inhib. Which is fine. Don't go push top. Or start trying to run to help to this new. Yikes. I didn't realize how fed um, Twisted Fate was. So TF and Aurelia are, well, easy is a problem too, but she probably already got this. It's on. Nope. I'm gonna take it. Split top. Yup. Let's see. Okay. Ready for battle. So, attack speed all the way. Next team fight. Double check it for me, because I have no idea what. Let me 
of that. 500 more gold. Oh, nice. Save me, save me. Jump! Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh! Run! <laughs> I live! Good shit. <laughs> Jabated. Now as long as the Sorelli doesn't kill them all, we're good. Oh man. The, the six skill shots. Nice. Well, I have full HP again. <laughs> Oh, I've got my sterics. I can go this way. Yeah, Guardian Angel might be a good last item. I did not see what my attack speed got up to, so I will have to check the replays. This is easy to get. I attack so fast. We got all three in heads. Nice. Back it out. No point in sticking around. Just protect Raven. Walk over towards the. Yeah. Let Raven get that. Um, we got two minutes to burn for some farm. Wow, nice. Dead. <laughs> dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. You dead. <laughs> oh my god. Good times. Can't get this. Oh god. I killed him! Fuck you, Olaf! <laughs> Worth a. 100 gold left. Oh wait. I'll just keep attack speed. <laughs> Full build lethal tempo jacks. I think I get up to like 2.8. Oh, I was gonna go Nashra's Tooth. That's what I was thinking. But I mean, I wouldn't have built it uh, until very last item anyway, so... Like I said, I could have gone either or anyways. The Sterics I needed for Aurelia, but... I could have built Nashor's Tooth before then. So... Not bad. I'll give it to the Lee Sin. Ah, oh, promoted. Happy day. Got an S-. minus. A little bit of a rough mid game because I ended up what three three and for that, and then I stayed ahead. I was six and four at some point, um, but it's not bad. I <laughs> all right. Let's face it. Clearly, Conqueror is much better. She would have died much much faster. But it was fun to break the uh, the speed of barrier. I still did number one damage. Lots of auto attacks. Um, so total time active, 2.2, not too bad. Uh, and here's my runes. So another just explanation for you. Triumph, Alacrity, and Coup de Cras is all the three standards that I almost always do, no matter what. Uh, so we switched out Conquer for Lethal Tempo. Um, that kind of helped us in that early trade, if you remember, because we activated it, uh, did the stun, and got a couple extra auto attacks off there. The celerity is for the extra movement speed to keep close during the beginning of the fight, so it's kind of an early game. Excuse me. Fight one, and then the Scorch does an extra pop damage as well. But thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope you liked that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Also, Twitch streaming now, so make sure you uh, jump into the description. Check that out, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.